Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Triple Legit Gamer here again. Yeah, I'm back. And I'm back with another Tom McDonald reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to Tom McDonald's song, Dear Rappers. It came out three years ago with 5.8 million views so far. Um, thank you for clicking the video. Much appreciated. I would appreciate it if you guys could smack that. Uh, like button and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching and also like i said before feel free to share my videos by your on social media accounts i also do video gameplay walkthroughs i am going through the list so remember i'm going to try every single sunday to drop one of tom mcdonald's old songs because i'm doing every single song on his uh youtube channel uh this video is being recorded on a thursday and well, I can't wait till tomorrow for Tom's newest song coming up, and it looks dope. Anyway, this is my reaction video to Tom McDonald, Dear Rappers. Three years ago, 5.8 million views, so feel free to smack that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, thank you. Anyway, let's get into it. Dear Rappers. And yes, these are the ones specifically from his channel. I've decided to stick to the ones specifically from his channel only. It kind of sucks if they're edited, but it is what it is. I don't know why Tom does this. But, yeah, I've done other videos of his music where it's not from his channel where somebody else uploaded the music video where it's not edited. But usually Tom's channel, on both of them, the official Tom McDonald topic and then his official channel that he personally manages, uh, it's uploaded with the edited version. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But I've decided to stick with his channel officially. It sucks, but oh well. I mean, maybe Tom's not allowed to swear on his YouTube videos. I don't know. Maybe that's part of the agreement. I don't know. Anyway, enough about me. Let's get into it. Tom McDonald, Dear Rappers, and thank you for watching. Sorry for the intro. Uh, none of the above. Skip survey. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28, still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out, though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again. Starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent every and I've never had a lot. Oh my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Seems to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in the boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect. But I'm paying even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a uh -oh. I don't want your Xanax bars or your... Okay, first off, I love the, like, the dark room effect, you know, with the photos, you know, the red lighting. I love that effect. And, you know, I've heard this song many times. I love it when it pops up on Pandora. You know, I love every single one of Tom McDonald's songs. Um, I can't really say I have a favorite, of course. Like I said before, there's uh, certain songs that come up that when I think of Tom McDonald that come to my mind first, but I wouldn't say that they're my favorite because I'm incapable of having a favorite song because every single one of his songs is good. And, you know, every single to time Tom releases a new song, I have officially accepted the fact that more than likely he's going to outdo himself again from previous, from his last song. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, Tom's up, uh, Tom's up there with uh, Ice Cube, NWA, like I said it before, okay, man, he's, he's, He's going to get up there with Tupac if people don't already consider him already, which is kind of sad. I mean, I do consider him up there with Tupac and Biggie. At the rate he's going, he's going to get there. And in some ways, he's probably already been there. He's already up there on the same level as Tupac and Biggie. Especially Tupac, man. Seriously, thank you, Tom, for making this video. Shout out to Noah for making this video. Of course, we already know who made the video. Tom, dear rappers. Um... You know, I agree with the statement. You know, I I want to go back to the early 2000s rap. Um, I want to go back to the 90s. I want to go back to the 80s rap. With NWA, Dear Mama, Who Shot Ya? Uh, 
I'm sorry, Miss Jackson, etc. Uh, juicy, uh, big punisher, iced tea, colors. You know, nowadays it's like, I don't care about what kind of house you have. I don't care about the drugs you take. I don't care about how many women you're getting. And how many times you're having sex with 20, 40 different women a week or whatever. You know, that's all you rap about. Just be like, my house is bigger than yours. Because I got a smaller dick. And money. And seriously, I mean, like, talk about real issues and stuff. You know, if Tupac was still alive, Little Wayne would not be working at McDonald's. He'd be dead. If Tupac and Biggie were still alive, Little Wayne would be dead. He wouldn't even have a career. It wouldn't even exist. And even if it did, it wouldn't have, it would have, it would have ended really quickly. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, I love it. I, I get it, you know. He's right. Pop a pill. Go get drunk and wasted. It's cool, and that's what they rap about. I get it. Um, I get it. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. Just a drug addict. I can hear another fucking song about the music medication that I had to take to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a flow clip. Rappers just promoting. Okay, this song is actually the unedited version. Okay, I don't get it. Why is it that other songs, like from another channel of the same music video, right, that I found, you 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 know what I'm talking about with my reaction videos where they're they're swearing, but then on some of the exact same video, like the song White Boy, okay, it's edited on Tom's actual channel. I don't get it, but this is Tom's official channel. Five point eight million views. It came out three years ago. I I mean seriously, it did once again just by the views. Seriously, talent, Tom, raw talent, but you, you I, I, I don't know. Why is it that some of his videos are edited and then on another channel there's the exact same song, the exact same music video, but it's not edited. It is the original uncut version. I don't know. But, seriously. You wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you can die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me. Is drinking every night gonna be the way to getting wealthy? If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the... Wow. You live in a country where cops are killing people every single day. Well, okay, look. I... I could say something seriously about that. What that? I mean, I get what he's saying. Um, But there's a lot more to it. In fact, I think somebody is going to say something about something because somebody knows something about something about the truth about police and if what and if you know what I'm talking about then then good for you. Okay, I'm talking about the culture of police. Um but if what I'm talking about or trying to talk about without actually talking about it actually gets out, imagine every single fifth every single state all 50 states has protests if the stuff that I'm that I'm talking about right now gets out, I'm not gonna mention it right now because now is not the time. Um, but he's right. But also at the same time, I get it. You know, there are people who are unjustifiably killed by police at times, and then there are times where it is justifiable. But if they're a min or con a minority or considered a minority, um, but it was justified which some of them over the last couple of years were, but there was mass protests for no reason at all because they don't want it, because people don't want to accept the, the, the truth because of what the media pushes. Okay? And 
it's turned into, in a sense, of where the police can't even do their job. It's quite simple. If a police officer tells you to stop, you stop. If the police officer tells you to put your hands up, you put your hands up. If he tells you to get down on the ground, you get down on the ground. You do as the police officer tells you. I don't care if the police officer is black. I don't care if the police officer is Asian. I don't care if the police officer is white. I don't care if the police officer is Indian. I don't care if the police officer is Native American. I don't care. I don't care if the police officer is fucking... Um, Human mutt. I don't care if you, who's being ordered to do that, is black. I don't care if you're Asian, white, whatever, Irish. Here in America, seriously, you do as a police officer or police officers tell you to do. And I'm just going to leave it at that. But also, like, I'm, but I'm also going to re uh, reiterate, I think someone's going to say something about something about the police because some people know exactly what I'm talking about, what I was re uh, referencing earlier, and maybe it'll be Tom McDonald. I don't know. But I think somebody's going to say something about something because there are times when they can't do their jobs, but there are times when what happened, it was totally unjustified. Yes, I agree with that to an extent. Um, now, Michael Brown, that was justified, and the guy who shot Michael Brown should not have been fired. It shouldn't have even gone to trial. Um, Okay. Uh, the last one with the African American lady, um, who used to, who was a police officer. Well, she wasn't at the time that you know with the no knock warrant. Uh, I forget her name, but no, the reason why she was fired from the police department was because of her connection to her boyfriend with the drug dealings, etc. She was into drugs, and no, they did knock. Look it up. Trust me, the media is two sided and. Both have issues. I will say that stuff, but they don't always tell you the whole truth. You got to go look into it and find out yourself. That's what I'm saying. But he's right. But at the same time, the police officers, they can't even do their jobs. And it's sad. But I honestly also think that these protests, some of them are justified and some of them are not. But overall, I think, honestly, it's going to get worse probably in the next four, maybe five years. But probably sooner. But somebody's going to say something about something and it's just going to erupt across all 50 states and that's just a feeling that I have. I'm just going to leave it at that. But I mean Tom, I love the bars, I love the the lighting of the uh image of the music video. I love the words, man, the flow. It's just raw talent, man. Raw talent, Tom McDonald. I love it. Hog for life, man. Hog forever. Hangover gang, man. Like Rasta thinks I've one love. It is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. I thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. And you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood your bars on your Here fancy like fancy cars, cars Throw your money in my face And try to tell me that it's something No, no, no No, 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 no. Just a drug addict on TV I want your Xanax bars on your fancy form was it wow i didn't realize this song was so short that i've never actually listened to the uh i've never actually watched the music video oh wow um essentially tom this song wow this was short but oh well um great song tom it's just this song was 
I love the flow of it. And I get the message. Seriously, I get the whole point. Dear rappers, it's just seriously. What the heck are you rap? I mean, most of the other rappers, the mumble rappers and stuff, I can't even understand a word you're saying. And p people buy this stuff. It's like, how the heck does this person get famous and make money off it and stuff? They have no talent. Or they don't want talent. I don't know. But... Tom, thank you for making this song. Dear Rappers, I get the message, man. Hands down, dog. Seriously, three years ago, 5.8 million views. Damn, Tom, keep it up. And I can't wait till Friday with your new song coming out. Um, on the... Because this video is being recorded on Thursday, the February 25th. So tomorrow, your newest song. There was a clown on it, man. I'm looking forward to that, but... Thank you, Tom McDonald, for making this song, Dear Rappers. I get it. I totally freaking get it, man. I absolutely get it. So, people, thank you for watching. Smack that like button. Subscribe. Uh, Triple Legit Gamer here. Uh, remember, all of Tom McDonald's old music videos that he's already released, they're going public pretty much every single Sunday. I might release some also on Wednesday, too, maybe. Um, and I... Okay. But mainly on Sundays, because I'm trying to do every single song. I'm trying to slice through the list, and it's a lot uh, of all this music on his YouTube video, on his YouTube channel uh, that I haven't done already. So I'm going to keep them coming. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, Sundays, and I might release them on, uh, make them go public, uh, some of them on Wednesday too, so I can finish them up, or I might just continue with Sunday. But seriously, one video a day, every, I mean, one video of Tom's old work every single Sunday. Keep a lookout. I have a whole bunch scheduled right uh, already to be released on every single Sunday. So thank you for watching. Smack that like button. I hope you guys just, uh, liked it. Sh feel free to share my videos. I also do video gameplay walkers. Yeah, share 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 my videos through uh, your social media accounts by story posting, web link, whatever. You know, if you guys are doing that, guys and gals, thank you. I love you. Triple Legit Gamer here is signing off. Until next time, I got more videos coming for you. And don't worry, I will be doing Friday's video of Tom McDonald's latest song. Thank you.